Hearts had a range of gadgets to surprise and delight. Here are some of my favourites. Korean company Manuel showed off a new way to dine. And what it is used for today is for our booth, we, we have an uploaded menu for people to order their drinks and actually be online on the, onto that monitor. And you can pay here as well using your credit card. Yes, there's a card slot right here so that you don't have to be bothered by any waiters or any miscommunications when ordering. LG's virtual fitting rooms were a hit. A motion sensor to change the outfit you're wearing. And once you find the perfect outfit, you just raise your right hand over the camera icon, take a picture, and then email it to yourself. Or you can just print your own shoes on your 3D printer. We've had an opportunity to uh, print out a couple of amazing heels over here. These were done by uh, Yana Katyan from uh, Freedom of Creation. Does amazing, amazing work. If you want to lose weight, try the happy fork that vibrates if you're eating too fast. I want to help people take control of their health and happiness. It's important. Or the wristband that measures your health. Fitbit Plex is for people who would rather be seen to be trying to get fit. Um, it's a very comfortable, lightweight device. Measure your steps taken, your calories burnt, and therefore your activity levels. There's also the scale that may tell you too much. So on top of taking a measurement of your weight and your body fat and lean mass, we have just added the capacity to measure your heart rate. If tennis is your game, the NSD spinner promises to improve your skills. What I'm doing is I'm going to be making it move, keep the groove going, and it's working out uh, muscles in my hand, working out muscles in my wrist, as well as my forearm. Robots were everywhere including one that visits you in hospital. So doctors can beam into this robot from anywhere in the world to communicate with patients, perform diagnosis, and monitor patients. So doctors don't need to drive this around. They'll just click a, a, a patient name or a room number, and the robot will autonomously move there, avoiding people, obstacles, and then they'll be able to communicate with the patient. Or you can dial into a meeting with one of these. I'm in California. I'm at the Beam headquarters in Palo Alto. Um, basically, I'm able to be in Las Vegas with you through uh, my connection over Wi-Fi. So by logging into my client interface over here at the headquarters, I'm able to beam into Las Vegas and uh, chat with you. If you like a bit of fun, try controlling one of these balls with your tablet. It's an app-controlled robotic ball, over 20 apps available for download um, that basically let you drive it, um, hold it in your hand and use it as a controller for on-screen games, play multiplayer tabletop games and um, also play augmented reality games, which are kind of the next big thing. And speaking of tablets, what about phablets? So the Ascend Mate, um, it is actually a 6.1 inch um, HD screen. It's a 720p screen on this device. So it's a huge device. Um, this, this is what everyone is calling a phablet. I call it a fantabulate <laughs> because I feel it's one of the best ones on the market at this point. There were gadgets for just about everything to see if that plant is growing. So what you basically do with this is you'll uh, uh, place it into your flower bed or into your flower pot. Uh, we have a dedicated app for iOS and Android. And with this, you can manage the, uh, uh, the, the, the sensor will pick up uh, sunlight, uh, temperature, uh, will pick up uh, humidity and uh, soil fertilizer content. To check the air quality in your house. Uh, it's a weather station, so it will report all the classical parameters of weather station like temperature, humidity, barometric pressure. But it will also measure indoor air quality and tell you when it's time to vent your place. To convert those old records and tapes to a digital format. A lot of folks don't want to rebuy all their old music or if there's some recordings that you just can't get on a download. So we have a product that's called Duo Deck that allows you to uh, take your vinyl or your tape and convert it via USB right to your computer. Or track down that lost pet. So what we have developed is a pet tracking device called Tractive. You put this on the collar of your dog, of your cat, of your horse or whatever animal or even persons if you want. Uh, and you can see at any point in time where this pet actually uh, is running around. 
you can charge your phone in case of emergency. This is our FRX emergency radio. What's great about it is it has solar technology and hand turbine technology, so you can charge um, a phone either way. So this is the crank. So one minute of cranking will give you a 30 second phone call or some time for some texts. On the back here is the flap where you can open up here. This is the USB port where you'll plug in your phone to get that charge. Um, the crank and the solar wall can also power a flashlight, which is great so you can kind of see in the dark. Or the backpack that will keep you energized on the move. And you'll see that battery there and you can go ahead and um, route the cables to one of seven compartments here that you can charge. As an example, you can put your iPad in here, you can put your iPad in here and you can go ahead and charge your iPad on the go. Or the Nectar Pod can give you two weeks of mobile power. It's a device that fundamentally will power and recharge not just your cell phones, not just your Bluetooth headsets, but any of your billions of devices that subscribe to the USB standards. That's Bluetooth headsets, cell phones, but also digital cameras, a whole bunch of stuff for two weeks. In the future, our locks will no longer come with keys. This is Yale Real Living's Z-Wave lever. It's a touchscreen version. It wakes up with three points of contact. You enter your code. Press the star button, and then you'd be able to access your home. We'll control our computers with our eyes. Toby Rex is a gaze interaction device, and when you plug that device into your computer, the computer knows exactly where you're looking. And we can use eye control in combination with, for instance, a keyboard, a touchpad, or a mouse to create a user experience that's just much more intuitive and much faster than the standard keyboard and mouse solution. Or just by moving around. This uses microsensors, so the same sensors that are in your phone, the gyroscope, an accelerometer, a magnetometer, those same sensors are embedded into the product and those um, capture your emotion. Our TVs may be watching us. We also try to measure through this demo of biological signal how you and I are reacting emotionally when you watch a movie. And when it comes to measuring your emotion, the producer can start saying, oh, at this end, I need to change maybe one thing to get more attention or more emotion leads to that. You can turn on your lights from anywhere. We can make any appliance in your home smart, including your lighting. We understand the energy consumption. We can also control it. You can then view it through your iPad, iPhone. You can do it within your home or you can do it remotely. And we'll all be getting around with one of these. This device is both fun and used for transport. So you can take it to work, you can take it to class, uh, or you can take it around the mall with friends. And you'll be able to catch the full interviews on most of those gadgets in our roundup of the best of CES. That's airing on the Australia Day public holiday, Monday the 28th of January 2013. Make sure you tune in for that one.